Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dies, and today we're going to make an incline spiral. Start by smoothing out as many wrinkles as you can, and then decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, and give it a little pinch. Now using the microwave splatter guard and a hemostat, I'm going to create the spiral. So I click the hemostat down on the first click because it does not need to be overly tight. You don't want to tear a hole in your shirt and don't press down too hard on your table. You can also poke a hole in your shirt. So I give the hemostat three, four, five twists. And then with my opposite hand, I'm creating the pleats. So notice how I'm pulling the shirt out and around, making the spiral. I go as far as I can using the microwave splatter guard and when I can't go any farther, I unclick the hemostat, hold down the center of the spiral, and gently wiggle the hemostat out. I like to secure my spirals by using rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It really is just a matter of preference. These rubber bands are my favorite rubber bands in the color of purple and I did get them from Amazon and you will find links down below in the description box for these rubber bands and everything else that I use for tie-dye so go ahead and check that out Once I get two or three rubber bands on the spiral, I like to tighten things up. That's the one downfall of using the splatter guard. You can only go so far with it and then the tails are just kind of sticking out. So what I like to do is pull on the loose tails and tuck them into the nearest rubber band. And while I'm doing that, I'm also creating more pleats. And I will go around and around the spiral till I feel pretty satisfied that the spiral is nice and tight. That way when I pick it up, move it, flip it over, whatever, it's not going to fall apart. So that looks pretty good. And if there are any loose bits, that's okay because your ice barrier can pick those up for you. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And for this project, I chose two colors that I really like, but I chose them because they both have a T next to their name. And if you're brand new to tie dyeing, you might wonder what does the T stand for? The T stands for turquoise. And what Dharma is trying to tell you is that the color is mixed with turquoise and you need to batch it for the full 24 hours to have the true color. Now, I like to batch for 48 hours, that's just me. I wanna make sure that the dye has the maximum amount of time possible for the Procyon dye and the soda ash to work chemically and bond with the natural fibers in the shirt or whatever dress, whatever you're making. Um, so that's just me, you, you know, you batch however long you want to, but if you're working with turquoise, blues, whatever, you want to at least do 24 hours at 70 degrees or higher. Next, I give the areas that have the dye a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. The shirt's already been pre-soaked in soda ash, but I'm going to be adding a lot of ice, so why not? And then I add my ice. And I like to start at the bottom of the shirt because it's on an incline. Um, that way the ice doesn't roll downhill knocking dye all over the place. And as you saw, I knocked some dye here and there, but that's okay. Now the only reason why I'm covering it is because I'm doing multiple shirts in one tote, so I'm just trying to keep them from cross-contaminating. So here is the front and here is the back. I get asked quite a bit when I do these, where did the blue come from? And as I just explained, both of these colors had turquoise, so when the ice melted and the dye split, it released the component of the turquoise, and that's what you see on the bottom. Now, I let the layer of ice melt. I did not add more ice, and I did not flip it over. I just set it and forget it, okay? 
So now it's time for the rinse out and you want to start by using cold water. Cold water is going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And if you check down in the description box, you will find the links for both of those. It just makes it easy for you to find. Then I put it in the dryer and I'll iron it. And then we come back and we see the results. And I only iron the project because it makes photographing them look so much better. So I definitely recommend that if you are selling your shirts online, make sure that you iron them because uh, wrinkled shirts just don't, I don't think they look as good and they don't photograph as well and you're probably not gonna sell them as quickly. I wanna take a moment to tell you all, pat yourself on the back, okay? I appreciate you guys so much. Everybody is rising to the occasion and helping me help Scotty. The GoFundMe is going so successfully. It just really warms my heart that I have this platform, I've asked for help, and you guys are, are helping. You're amazing. Thank you so very much. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our incline spiral after it's been washed and dried, and I think this shirt turned out super fun. When you work with the colors with the tee, you get more bang for your buck. So I originally made this shirt for my sister to take to Hawaii, and she took one look at it and was like, heck no. I look at this shirt and say, heck yeah, this is something I totally would wear. She likes the more neutral colors, earthy tones, the greens and the purples, whereas I'm like, give me a rainbow, give me bright colors, look at me, look at my tie-dye. So tie-dye is just not for everybody. <laughs> um, so the blue violet is the darker of the magenta colors. I'm surprised at how light it went. And then the raspberry is dominating everything. But the turquoise really just jumps out. Like I said, bang for your buck. You get more colors from just one dye. And leaving that white space allowed for the color splits and to really see what the color can do. And it's gorgeous. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.